here's our main content tree area. So this is where all of your sections and pages are being stored. And as I mentioned before, we have shared content tree approach here working. So in other words, our homepage is being translated into Danish and Japanese. So Danish and Japanese websites, they don't have their own content tree. It's all being shared. And this works great. Let, let me show you how this works from the content authoring standpoint. So I have a, an About Us section here, which is translated into Danish. So if I select Danish, you can see that the field values that are exactly the same for this banner area and we have this yellow bar here this is a custom validator that I have created just to visually demonstrate and show uh, to the business users that this value is actually being reused from the source English language I can of course change that but this is what you kind of experience in, in, in the authoring environment you can see some things as menu titles, titles I get getting changed and translated into Danish. So let's see uh, what it, what happens if we go down to our history page and create one Danish version of this page. I'm gonna create add version, and you can see just out of the box, we have all of those field values are being looked up from source English version. So in other words, we don't need to do anything if we do want to change something and change the title change, add Danish here and save it this value is now going to be a part of our Danish version the rest field of the field values are going to be just simply looked up from the source English language let me go back to about us and demonstrate to you what's going to happen if I'm going to create a Japanese version so if you remember, Japanese version is set up not to fall back. However, certain fields as banner image here is instructed to be enforced. So this is the actual result of this action. I created a new version and you can see all of my content fields are blank because they're not set to be enforced. The only field that's getting enforced is this banner image. So let me put something into here into title uh, and menu title and save it. Now if I go back to my uh, Japanese website and just hit refresh you can see the section, the About Us section now magically appears as being translated. Since I'm using life mode I don't need to publish but in generally you'll go through translation workflow and publishing to make this happen. But <clears throat> here is the result of this we have the about us section is being translated you can see the banner is being looked up this is what our corporate marketing really likes and the rest is just up to translation process to fill in